It's easy to get distracted by the specifics of design problems. Designers often feel stuck, sort of unable to see a creative solution to their problems, especially if it's a problem that they've been working on for a very long time. So here's a technique to help you get unstuck by abstracting your design problem so that you can look for inspiration in unexpected places. There are three steps to this technique. First, abstracting the design problem. This is the step that people often struggle the most with. Take your design problem and rephrase it so that it's very general and high level. The key here is trying to get rid of any specific details that could identify the problem's context. So here's a real world example. BYU engineers were thinking about how they could get wide, flat solar arrays into a small space for a NASA rocket launch. So we could abstract that design problem to say, okay, we have this large flat object and we need to fit it into a narrow one. The next step is to identify alternative fields. So you wanna think about other fields or domains of expertise that deal with a similar problem or that have a similar goal. In our NASA example, they looked at origami for inspiration, folding flat material in intricate ways to take other shapes. Finally, look at this field that you've selected and try to think, how can you draw inspiration from it to solve your own problem? So in the example with NASA, the BYU engineers were able to design and create an origami-inspired solar array that can be collapsed and then easily carried into space and then unfolded. This technique is very simple, but it's also very powerful. It'll help you to expand the solutions that you consider for your design problems and also to increase the sources of inspiration that are available to you. This may feel sort of challenging the first time that you try it out, but this is really a technique that gets a lot easier with practice.